Hey everybody, this is the Cyber Bard, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So today, we are jumping into the quest called The Taste of Death. So in the last episode, we went and uh, had a merry, had ourselves a merry jaunt through a, uh, an encampment of um, Forsworn. I, I made sport of a number of them, and before that even, we had an amazing run-in with a dragon. Uh, a jerk dragon, to be honest with you, because he suckered me, came out of nowhere, and started blowing fire on me. And uh, we got an amazing cinematic kill out of that. Super cool. One of the best dragon fights. And uh, now we're going to jump into Taste of Death. We've just reached Reach Cliff Cave, and uh, we are going to go talk to this uh, degenerate uh, corpse eater. Lovely. You've come. The Draugr infesting the nearest sanctuary are inside. So why are we clearing Draugr for her? Then I'll wait. Okay. This person's a big weirdo. Let's get a good look at her. Yeah, she's a creepy one. Clearing the nearest sanctuary of the undead. I'll I'll take then care I'll of him. Wait. That's what Clear Namira's sanctuary of the undead. Oh, oh, come on. All right, come with me. I was hoping you would say that. Apparently, it's not an option to just leave her behind. <clears throat> All righty. Let's get a good look at this weirdo. Ah, so she'll take out her weapon as we take out our weapon. Yeah, she's, uh... She's an ugly one. Alright. Draugr are foul-tasting. Are you saying that non-Draugr taste good? Ooh, this guy is a tough boy. Oh, and he shouts, too! Is that a flame Atronach? Uh-oh. Oh man, she summoned it? Okay, so we're dealing with a mage, apparently. So, let's give you a good look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a flame Atronach. So aren't those cool? That is a very, very cool looking Atronach. Damn. Well, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think we have much to worry about here. So I'm curious, why do the Walking Dead bother this one so much if she's prepared to eat them? Ah, uh, oh wait. Hi there. Oh crap. Did you summon an Atronach, friend? Oof. Wow. I don't even know what I just gained. All I know is that Josh pretty much just said, I am going to dig my way into the stone and not do anything of use. Oh boy. Potions. We need a little shot of health here. We're getting low on potions. I'm going to have to start uh, cranking out some more. Go get some ingredients. But yeah, the dungeons are getting a little bit more challenging now. I have a feeling you're going to stand up. And I was correct. I'm gonna let this person uh, lead the charge here. You're uh, you're fodder for Draugr. Go on, have fun. I have an idea though. This could be a little bit fun. 
Iron Shield, Plentiful Magicka. I will take that. Anything of use here? Not really. Lydia, please don't do this. You know what happened last time? Whoa! Okay. Why am I not shouting? There we go. Oh, so she summons the Draugr, but it's not okay to have Draugr just running around on their own. You know how much of a waste that is, Yola? Draugr don't just grow on trees. There's not a whole lot to this place so far. And as I say that... The shrine of Namira is further inside. Keep going. Yep, no problem. Will do. First though, let's see what goody goody good good things we have here. Uh gold, plentiful magicka. I'll take that gold. Ah, a chest. An orcish shield. How lovely. I would give that to uh, Lydia if not for the fact that her existing shield is already quite good. And uh, the fact that it is uh, part of the dwarven set. So let's dig a little deeper into this rancid hellhole oh god I thought I'd set off a trap there interesting okay cool I've got a bad feeling about this why do you always have to say this? Why must you ruin everything beautiful? All right. So tell me, what do you think of this story in the comments? Let me know. Um, I mean, we haven't had a whole lot in the way of narrative with this particular quest, to be honest with you. It, it's still rather a mystery to me what this person is doing. Uh-oh. Got that nice critical strike, though. Missed me. Whoa! What was that? A death overlord. Uh oh. Let's try this. Wow. This guy takes a licking and keeps on ticking. We've done it. The shrine is ours again. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course. And I know the perfect person. A priest filled with the taste of an easy life. Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arke's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. Say I'm not sure I want to do this. That seems thoroughly evil, but if it gives me free stuff, I may consider it. <laughs> I, I really don't want to eat 
dead people though because that strikes me as a little odd however that being said i am a werewolf right now supple ancient nord bow interesting oh a chest eh glass warhammer that's pretty cool but we have volundrung what need have we for a hammer of glass when we have the hammer of might. Let's see. Anything else here that is ripe for the picking? Not really, no. Nope. That's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward dungeon. What do we have on this shrine here? So basically we're going to have to kill the dude. And I'm guessing Namira is a Daedric Lord. So we're going to be another chosen of a Daedric Lord. So at this point in time, the Daedric Lords pretty much like us. That, that part has been made very clear. So let's take a look here. I just want to see the layout of this place, to be honest with you. Hmm... What to do, what to do. All right, let's go get this guy and we're going to sacrifice him and be horribly dubious in our morality because that's the way we do business. Because it's not okay to do bad things unless it gets you free stuff. Kids, if you're watching this, don't do what I'm doing. This is a work of fiction. This is fantasy. Real life is not like that. When you do evil things in real life, first of all, you're a jerk, and second of all, you get punished. Also, I'm pretty sure that eating people is really bad. Don't quote me on that, but just a hunch. All right, so let's hop on over to Markarth. All right. Yes, yes, I do wish to go to Markarth. Alms. I said alms, you backfire. Give wow. a triple worker a helping hand. You look like a pleasant fellow. Alright, so now we have to find a dirty priest who's apparently a lazy turd and convince him to come with us so that he can get eaten. Sounds entirely plausible. Excuse me, but my ripe odor is part of a medical condition, sir. Ah, no. Uh, okay, which way do I go? God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. There. Are you happy now, you big wussy? Here we go. I smell a fat priest. Hello, fat priest. Shrine of Arche. Ah, Brother hey, Verilus. Keeping well? You are looking for Arche's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it? My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. Hmm. You know, in the priesthood of Arche, we have a joke about an empty pocket being better than a full grave. That's no small amount of coin, friend. I suppose I can come with you for a short venture. Lead on. Yes. Lead on. Come with me, friend.
Understone Keep. That's not where I want to go. I want to get out of this place. Where is the exit? There we go. Alright, so let's map it over. Where is it again? There we go. Let's go here. And let's bring this happy fellow. Has he joined us? Yes, he has. Of course he has. Just this way, fellow. Yes, Mr. Priest. Listen, I've already stepped down this path. I, I got the Mace of Molag Ball. That wasn't particularly legit either. So... You're my friend. Yes, I'm your friend, and I've invited you to dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Wow, Why what's going on? Down and rest while we get the meal ready. I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. So she hypnotized this guy? Okay. I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. Ah, the new disciple. I hear you have quite the appetite. The meal is on Namira's table. Go ahead, Car. Okay. Well, I'll see you folks on the other side. He looks so sweet. Go ahead. Have the first bite. Oh, what is this going to do to me? All right. Mortal. I am Namira, the Lady of Decay. Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arke's own is pleasing to me. I give you my ring. Wear it, and when you feast on the flesh of the dead, I will grant you my power. Okie dokie. Wallow in your wretchedness, my newest champion. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. Well then, so now that we have committed atrocities, let's take a good look and see what this ring does. The Ring of Namira. Wow, that is actually... A really powerful ring. However, I can only wear one ring. So what I need to do, truthfully, is I need to get myself a new pair of Dwarven Gauntlets and enchant them better with this enchantment. So then that way I can free up my hand for the Ring of Namira. Because this is impeccable as far as an item goes. 50 stamina, which is a huge amount, nothing to sneeze at, and feeding on corpses grants you increased health and health regeneration. That's just too good to pass up. So, wow. So I guess that was actually worth it in the end, to be disgusting. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. And here you are, champion of Namira, 
Keeper of her ring. You're everything I hoped you'd be. There, there. It will pass. Going too long without a proper meal can make the stomach weak. Feel free to stay and mingle with your new coven, if you have the strength. Wow, really creepy. It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Praise to you, champion. Wow, this is really messed up. There's just... Oh, man. I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. One of my customers? Did you know I inherited the store from my late husband? Shame what happened to him. He had such good taste. I know her. She's... Oh, wow. Okay. You were given Namira's ring? A Namira spoke honor. to you? I knew this feast was going to be something. The bloodiest beef in the reach. <laughs> oh, the butcher. You were given Namira's ring? A great honor. You buy a war dog for me? There's a reason why my hounds are so eager to bite into people. Namira spoke to you? Wow. I knew this so apparently there's a lot of really creepy people. Go ahead. Eat. I'll hang on to that for now. It's an honor, keeper of the ring. Very, very odd. Namira okay. Well, with I that note, I am going something. to leave off here now that we have um, done some terrible, terrible things that we can't ever come back from. Uh, Jody is going to take a break, so I wish you a very good day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment below in the description. You will also find the links to my social media, um, social media accounts. So give me a follow there, and uh, I post regularly, so you might learn some things about me. I wish you a great day. This is the Cyberbard signing off. Peace.